board sits below the rib cage, which is one of the things that I love the most about it. Fits right in between them. What a beautiful shape. What a beautiful shape to that board. Comes out, it's like a T. You gotta be careful because I don't have anything on here, so. Molds to the body, super flexible. comes down far enough to get that pooch underneath the belly button, but it does not hit the hips. The hip bone, my hip bone is right here. Perfect shape, I got the short, short one, so it's smaller this way and it's also smaller this way I believe like one or two inches than the longer one I wear it with the fabric on the outside so that there's no seams on my body look at that look at that now this is after a full day of moving around and eating and swelling up. Also like to comment that my belly button is taking more of a round shape. Um, early in recovery when my skin was really loose, my belly button straight up looked like this. <laughs> so it's rounding out and I'm no longer using the shaper because my skin is tightening back up. When it was really loose, it was just completely sagging on top of each other, or on top of itself. Um, just to get really real for a second. That skin still sags, but that's a video for another day. This is their beautiful app board. It comes in different colors. I believe uh, two nudes, deep ocean, which is this color. It would be like this material. So it would be this blue. Uh, this is the cocoa of the nude. There's also like a lighter beige nude, actually probably like this. And I believe it comes in black as well. Phenomenal. Phenomenal board. Uh, the cover is removable. This this material is just so super soft. It's just like their Faz. So if you know, you know. And the cover comes completely off. You can wash it. Got this beautiful etching, 3D etching in it to brand it. The material is very, uh, it's not like a hard wood or plastic or metal. It's um, super bendable. It is a just very hard compressed foam. You'll notice that if I stick my nails in it, it stays like that and slowly comes back up. My only issue with the board is the thickness. I believe it could be a little bit thick, uh, thinner. And still serve its purpose, but I absolutely love it. It's one of my favorites. Aside from the board that I modified myself to my um, preferred size and compression need, this
this is truly a winner. If you get drainage on it, you can take the cover off, throw it in the wash, easily pop it back on with no problem. And again, I like to put it on with the seams facing outward so that I have smooth, smooth skin. And if anybody's going to ask, I don't wear a tank top under my garment anymore. I stopped wearing a tank top around week seven or eight. I stopped wearing my foams around five and a half, six weeks. Uh, but <laughs> I mean, you guys know how I feel about Trivuto at this point. Like I love their products. I love everything that they stand for. I love the way that they treat their employees. And most importantly, I love the way that they treat their customers. Um, I could go on forever about my personal experience with them and how much fear that I had in placing my first order and how patient the woman was who responds to uh, inquiries on social media and questions about orders and stuff. And she was an absolute angel and she has been through the rest of my experience with them um, and I have several of their products highly recommend the board fits under the ribs above the hip bone the hip bone is here and it still goes down far enough to get that lower belly pooch look at that hitting all four areas, getting everything that you want to compress. Put it back in, just to show you ladies how I do this. I like to tighten my garment. little bit tighter up to the belly button. Sometimes hooks come undone. Sometimes it takes finessing. And I assume that this is up because of the way that they have their logo. But you gotta shove it in and make sure it's under my ribs. Pull over. Pull over. Button. Hook. I call it button all the time. Again, this will mold down. Once you have it all the way done, and sometimes the skin is just so sensitive. I'm three and a half months, I'm actually, I'm actually sixteen weeks which technically is four months, but I haven't reached my four month mark. I'll be four months on April 12th, but I'm beyond 16 weeks and my skin is still sensitive enough. So please don't get a stage three before you're ready. I mean, really? What up, board? What a 
baffle, huh? What baffle? 